Good evening. Homes and businesses have been flooded and roads blanketed in hail after a wild spring storm pounded Adelaide. The hills and eastern suburbs bore the brunt of the deluge and that's where Virginia Langerberg joins us. Virginia, no one saw this coming, myself included. <laughs> well, Kate, we knew we were in for a storm, but nothing quite like this. I'm here at Richards Park in the middle of Norwood, and as you can see, still plenty of hail around, and extraordinary scenes like this have been happening right across Adelaide's eastern suburbs. A winter wonderland in early spring. The Adelaide Hills covered in hail. It's nearly snow, I reckon. Just after 2pm, the storm swept in. That is all... Snow and ice, that is insane. Causing flash flooding to homes. Look at all the hail coming off the roof. Including this one at Maylands. 55 years in Australia, never see, never see this one before. Emergency services responded to more than 100 calls for help. The ballroom billiard saloon at Norwood was inundated. While popular watering hole, the bath on the parade, yeah, tried to keep the, the water way. at bay. 30 years at this pub, never seen anything like this. Water lapping up to businesses across Adelaide's eastern suburbs, streets submerged. Twenty millimetres of rain fell in the city in just an hour. I looked at the weather report and there was no warning. <laughs> so <laughs> they can't always get it right. While some suburbs in the south and west missed out altogether, the airport gauge didn't record a drop. Those that were in the storm's path <laughs> say they've never seen anything quite like it. Now, the worst of the wild weather has now passed, although the forecast tonight is that there could be still possible showers and a thunderstorm for Adelaide's northern hills. We are currently seeing some activity over the Barossa, but thankfully much calmer conditions on the way tomorrow. Thank you, Virginia. Live now to Kensington, where we find Kim Robertson. Kim, a fright for residents there this afternoon. Yes, that's right, Kate. I'm here at a set of units at Kensington where just a few hours ago the floodwaters were about half a metre deep, but luckily for residents they are subsiding very quickly. But when the storm came through, it came through very quickly and swiftly. It dumped about 23 millimetres of rain in that very short time. It gave residents an awful fright. Many of them called emergency services only to be told that they would have to wait several hours for a response. So many of them just picked up their brooms and got neighbours to help out cleaning out these floodwaters but they caused quite a bit of damage as you can see. Here's what some of the residents had to say. I've lived here 20 plus years I've never seen anything like this. This is insane. Yeah, I just opened the door and there was two inches of water over, over everything, over the, over the floor, right, right through the house. Now the damage from these floodwaters in this area here in Kensington has been so bad that many residents have been forced to leave the area, including some that we met at a retirement, retirement village just across the road, some elderly, elderly residents. Some of them have been forced to stay in hotels because they've been told that the flood damage here is so bad that they might not be able to return for many weeks.